favorite part of the whole machine, these redesigned joysticks. I don't even know where to start. They are the best. So comfortable, like they're the definition of ergonomic. Like, you just place your hands here, that's it. You got a button here for your transmission. Over here, you got the auto shake. So at the end of your push, push that button, it'll do a little shake. You don't even have to go like that. Love it. Uh, cat also has that. I'm not getting into cat though. We're on John Deere. This button is for uh, the auto on the machine control. Just push it. Super easy. There's no little stupid switch in a dumb area that you gotta take your hand off of this and flip it around those. They suck. I love this. It's all in this joystick. There's other buttons. I don't know what they do. Um, I think they're extra uh, and can be set up for whatever you're running if you're running a special attachment or whatever. Um, but these joysticks are amazing. Just the way that you put your hand on it. You can put your hand on it like this. What I like to do also, there's like a little thing, finger holder right here. You can hold it like this. This is actually how I like to do it most. I've been doing some heavy pushing. I've been doing some trimming. I tried multiple different ways and this with my finger like that is the best. It's so simple, so easy, you have a good grip. Don't get me wrong, they're also awesome just like this. You can have your thumb up here. So it fits your thumb, you can rest your thumb there or you can put your finger over. Also, you can palm it. Like, it's a big thick joystick that you can palm and you can hold. Now, if you're just doing basic stuff like bulking, you can palm it because when you palm it, you can't really control all the functions right here on the blade. Same with this side. But if you want to, you can. It's comfortable, I love it. Going to this side, it's basically the same. Um, in the old John Deere's, uh, I think even the K actually, you had to pull back on the control, that was reverse, push ahead, neutral, push ahead more, forward, side, side. Now, this goes to the side, that goes to the side, right? There's a switch right here, like in a D6, um, forward, reverse. Now up here, there's a little switch or a scrolling button, I guess you would call it. You can scroll it ahead and that will change your transmission speed. Uh, I love it. There's a button here. I haven't tested that out. Don't know what that is. Uh, I love it. Also love this ripper handle. Super sturdy for ripping. Now the seat is also turned in here. So you have a better view of what you're cutting. Also, you don't have to uh, turn around as much when you're ripping. The big thing I didn't like about the John Deere's before is uh, the seat was straight. So like doing a full day of ripping and frost or whatever, it's, uh, it's hard on your back as an operator to be turning around so much to just see what's behind you, right? Um, also in here, there's a, a camera so you can see what you're ripping, so you don't even really have to turn around. In some cases you might have to, but for the most part, simple ripping. You can just look in your backup camera. Super neat, I love technology. I think John Deere has done a great job in this cab in general. Uh, lots of storage, just move my vest here. Lots of storage, cup holders, love it. As an operator, you spend all day, every day in this machine. It has to be comfortable. The seat is awesome, has wings on the side, holds you in place when you're on the slope. Uh, now, what I don't like, I like almost all of it. What I don't like, one of the biggest things, besides the door plastic mechanism covering, don't like that. I've never liked this on any John Deere. These windows, I do not like. I don't want the window open that much. Maybe, maybe I want it this much. A sliding one would be excellent. The biggest thing I don't like about this style is 
drive with that open, hear that rattle? It rattles. This is a brand new dozer. I've ran lots of John Deere dozers in my day and this has been my biggest pet peeve. These things rattle, rattle, rattle. I, I don't even want to have the, the window open because it rattles, it's just too loud. And half the time they wear out, see how it locks there? It won't lock anymore, so it won't even stay open. That is the biggest thing I don't like about this dozer. And really, the big scheme of things, that's so tiny. No one's not gonna not buy this dozer because of the windows, well I might but most people won't. John Deere, if you see this, in the next model, can you please have a sliding window, something, have it slide, have it lock, something. I don't like this. Got the 12 volt here, excellent for charging phones, charging whatever you need to do. Um, there's two of them. So I like how, not just John Deere, but every type of dozer they went to 12 volt from 24 volt i used to hate that um love that love the storage here storage great super comfortable i love the dash everything is within arm's reach um you don't really have to touch the control box too much it's a bit far away because this dash they placed quite far away but really, you don't have to uh, go up there and touch much. And if you do, it's only on a machine with a control box. So if the machine is not equipped with GPS, you're not even gonna have to lean ahead and do that anyway. So not a big issue. Going out the door here, not a fan, or at least I wasn't when I first seen about the 850Ls. Blade lift cylinders, they're mounted on the side of the hard nose. I thought that, to be honest, I thought it would reduce a lot of vision. Now, it hasn't really reduced much at all. But now that they have the engine increased to a nine liter, they did have to make the whole nose wider, so maybe that's why I'm not seeing a huge difference, just because it's a wide nose and it already has less vision. But really, I don't see an issue with any vision problems here. It looks great to me. Uh, yeah, I don't know. This dozer is great. It's good at pushing. This thing can push. Push, push, push.